I'm here at Larry H. Miller in Sandy, Utah, and they have a Grand Cherokee trail hop. They actually have three. And as you guys know, there's a big announcement for the trail hop. So I'm gonna go with you guys here in a second. But before we do that, special shout out to Larry H. Miller here in Sandy, Utah. Be sure to give these guys a look up if you are in the market for a Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. And let's take a look at the window sticker so you guys can see what's optional on this current Cherokee. Now, starting off the window sticker is the base price at $54,235. And then here's some of the colors. So the exterior is going to be Baltic gray. And it does have a two-tone, so it's going to have a black roof. And then it has the global black interior. So it's going to be a leather and a suede, as you can see here. And if you would like to see some of the standard equipment, be sure to pause it. Down below is going to be the interior, and it does continue at the top. Now, one thing I want you to take note of is ventilated seats is standard. I thought that was a option on this one. And then, as far as the total options go, there's not a lot. It's just the color, which is 395, and the Uconnect 5, which upgrades it from an 8.4 to a 10.1 screen for 1615. Destination comes in at 1795 with a total price of 58,040 dollars. And here's some of the fairly common numbers. Now take note that because of the off-road tires, these numbers may be affected by that. So check out the front end of this Jeep Grand Cherokee Trailhawk. Now it does have LED headlights. And as you guys see, the turn signals are an LED strip. And down below, this has the same setup as the Overland with the fog lights. It also has the Overland's tow hooks, but they're painted in red. And check out the graphic on the hood. That's how you know you're definitely looking at a trail hawk, especially with the red accents, especially around the Jeep too. This one does have the sprayer for the front cam, and that does come standard because obviously that's gonna be for the trail as well. And one thing I do like about this setup is these pretty much all-terrain tires through Goodyear. It's a Wrangler. And let's take a look at the specs. 265, 60, 18. And as far as the capacity goes, pretty good. 2,337 pounds. And if you don't know this, this does have air suspension on all four corners. And it does have a semi-dampening now for 2023. So you should get a little bit better ride going down the road. And they do put a cloth material in here. If you hit this with a power wash, it does help get it cleaned a lot quicker. Plastic trim piece on the fender flare. And Obviously, this would be trail rated because it is geared towards off-roading. Now, something that's really unique about the trail hawk that I like is any color you get, you have to get the two-tone. And that's not a bad thing. I think the two-tone does really, you know, break up the color a lot better versus this modern tone here. And that black on the mirror just works well, especially with this gray uh, trim piece that falls over the windows. And if you look up front, again, you can see that that gray is on the grill slots around the um, area down there. And it just looks really good. I, I will give it to Jeep. They've done a really good job with designing these Jeeps. And it's definitely grown on me. And I really do like the off-road tires. 18-inch wheels for the win, too. In the comment section, do you guys like that design? It looks really good. Back to the mirror. You do have a turn signal right here. Now, something I just noticed, this doesn't have 360 camera, so just keep that in mind if you like that option. I believe it is available. Blind spot monitoring and these mirrors are gonna be heated. This does have a smart key system. You hit the slot right here on the door handle, it will lock it. And if you slide it in the door handle, it will unlock. Mirror can flag. And then again, Grand Cherokee has that red access too. This does have, I believe, 10.9 inches of ground clearance in its highest setting. I will show you guys a uh, time lapse of the air suspension at the lowest setting and at the highest setting. And let's check out the back here. Now, as I mentioned, that roof is going to be painted in black. You can get black on black, so it would, it would basically be monotone. But if you get white, any other color would basically be black roof. And it just does look really sporty. Now, up back, you do have the parking sensors. And that red tow hook down below if you get stuck. And check out your trail hop badge right down below here. 
And again, you have that red accent behind the Jeep. As you can see here, we do have a backup camera with a sprayer too. And you can't see the exhaust, which I probably would like to see, but you do have a hidden head right behind this trim piece right here. And this gray is really, really dark. I believe this is Baltic gray. And it looks really good. So here's the exciting news. In 2023, all Trailhawks are gonna have the 4xE powertrain. So no more 3.6, no more 5.7. If you don't know, the 4xE is basically a plug-in hybrid. It's gonna have a two liter turbocharged engine. So it's gonna have 375 horsepower, 470 pound-feet of torque. And on top of that, it's gonna have a reinforced underbody, a sealed battery pack. So if you do plan on going in water up to about 24 inches, it'll be protected. And this 4 by e is going to have about a 25 mile range is what they're saying it will have. Obviously, it's probably going to be a little bit less depending on how you drive it. And it's going to have a range of about 470 miles combined driving. So if you do want a 2022, you would have to make do with the V6, which is still a great option. It's going to have 293 horsepower, 260 pound feet of torque, and it is made it to an 8-speed transmission. So it's still a great option if you are interested in the Grand Cherokee. Even though this Grand Cherokee seems kind of expensive at, at almost $60,000, the interior does make up for it. And it really does have a luxurious interior. For example, if you want to power fold your mirrors, you do have that option there. Automatic front windows and not the rear. I'm not sure why they did that. I believe on the other models, you can do all four. And of course, power windows, power door locks, seat memories, Nice accent on this trim piece. And then as you guys can see, they have like an aluminum style that goes around the interior. The red stitching on the seats, on the center here, and on the steering wheel dash. It looks really good. Soft touch everywhere. It's just a good setup and it has the Alpine sound system too. Over here, you guys can see electronic parking brake. This is how you would open the hood. And automatic headlights, as you guys saw on the front had the fog lights all LED and you have a screen front and center for your gauge cluster start it up so as I've mentioned in the past this interior is going to be timeless just like the one it replaced I really like what they've done first thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to turn on these cool seats because it's gonna be hot today, it's gonna to be over 100 degrees. And let's check out this screen here. So you have this button here, it's like a quick menu as I call it. If you click there, it pops up for a few things like your navigation, your fuel economy, and your radar cruise control, which does come standard. Um, you also have your radio, and you, this is really for your driving modes, like for your air suspension, if you like to be in rock or sand and mud, you can switch it or sport. And let me show that to you here. So sports right there. Auto, snow. You do have to click over into full wheel drive with some of these. And it does turn off the traction control. And it will raise the SUV when you pick this. So that, that's pretty cool. I like to keep them automatic. Uh, to allow the air suspension to kind of adjust on its own. But let's go through the screen here. And as you guys just saw the audio, if you have any stored messages, um, anything that's wrong with the SUV will pop up here. Uh, you can actually set up the screen. And you do have your, this is the main menu as they call it. So this is number one. The second one is my favorite, which is the vehicle information. It gives you a rundown of some of your, uh, like the coolant, trans, oil, temp. It just gives you a summary of all these things there. It's pretty important if you're towing or if you are going off-road. Uh, here's your PSIs for your tires. And then stop start, you can disable that if you like, I always do. And then this shows you the fuel economy, the range, things like that. And this is your trip information, you have a trip A and a trip B. And we've already pretty much seen this 
and back to the audio, stored messages, and then back to the main menu again. Now this screen, this is a 10.1, as you guys saw, this did come as an option. So just keep that in mind if you would like this. I won't spend too much time in this. Go back and check out some of my last videos I've done with this. But something I, I absolutely love about Uconnect 5 is you can really, you can reorder this. You can actually, um, you can change the layout of it too. You can add a page. Um, so it's pretty cool. I, I like this system, very easy to use. And if you want to make this full screen, you just click there, bam, takes it to navigation. Um, up top here, you do have the option to click on your heated seats, your heated steering wheel, or your cold seats, or you can sync the uh, climate too. Down below, you can see you do have your seat and your steering wheel controls and your climate, so you don't have to go through the screen. You also can turn the screen off if it does become a distraction for you, like that I do that. Another way you can do it is you hit the power button and it turns it completely off. And obviously that would turn off your audio too, so just keep that in mind. Let's check out your vehicle. So you do have, as you guys can see, that forward camera. And as I mentioned, this is good for going on the trails. You can also clean the camera if you like to. And what else? Off-road. This is what you live for when you get a trail hop. You live to go off-road, right? And this does take a little bit of time to load. So let's just go up here real quick. You can disable that start stop function as I mentioned. Uh, this is a lane keep assist, traction control, your cautions. And then this is gonna be your parking sensors. I would never turn those off. And let's see here. So here is just a layout of everything. So you can lock that front axle if you'd like. And as you guys see, the, they're pretty much unlocked there. As far as your accessory gauges go, you can have a nicer setup with them here. Pitch and roll, if you're going off road, this is obviously gonna be pretty helpful. Select terrain, you pretty much saw that uh, down below. I was actually using this right there. I'll show that to you here in a second. And then suspension, shows you you're an off-road one, which is pretty much the second highest uh, level for this SUV. And then forward-facing camera, as I mentioned, perfect for going off-road but it shows you the you know just some of your where you are your altitude we're at 4,335 feet here in uh, Utah in Salt Lake City basically now you do have a area here for your USBs you have type A's and type C's some really nice storage down below I don't see the phone charger in this one so if you would like a wireless charger I don't see that this one has that as I mentioned, here's some of your driving modes, your air suspension, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it, actually, no, I'll leave it alone right now, but you can put this in full drive low by clicking a button. You, know, you may have to be in neutral to hit this, though, so, so just keep that in mind. This is gonna be a function for going off-road. Looks like it might be like a cruise control for like going off-road. Sway bar disconnect, and you can put two cups up front, and there is a key storage in the center up there. This is your center console. It's all finished in Velcro. It does have a light in the lower one so you can see what's in there. And this is the glove box. Above here, you do have LED lights throughout the interior and you can pop that rear tailgate too by pushing the button up top. And then if you have glasses, you have an area right there for that too. Home link. LED lights for your vanity. And what's really cool about this Grand Cherokee is even in the back, you still have the same stitching, the red stitching, the nice designs on the doors. These seats do recline, and actually you can kind of see right now, and they do recline quite a bit. They do give you a net out back as well for your seat backs, for storage. You have air vents right here. Place up top, maybe just slide your phone in. Power plug, which would come in handy. Heated seats, four more USBs back here. That's really cool. Really cool that they do that. And yeah, you would like to recline these seats. If I remember how to do it, actually. Here it is. There's the lever right there. You pull this lever up, and you can 
put them back up or as I mentioned you can recline them if you want to get comfortable I mean and this is actually a good bit of reclining too and then you do have a cup holder in the center there I don't see any more actually though so those might be your only two you do have a place in the door for like bottles and something I did not mention but I want to show to you here you do have paddle shifters so if you like to paddle shift manually you can do that with the Grand Cherokee Trailhawk. So here is the trunk for this Grand Cherokee. One thing I love about this, number one, is they do give you lights on the rear hatch. And I like that they give you carpet because if this was all finished in plastic, this gets all scratched up and it doesn't look good over time. So they do it on both sides. This is how you would shut the rear and then they do provide a power plug out back. And then under here, spare tire. And I'm going to give you some cubbies too. And this is just something I do on my channel. I'll show you guys the gross axlet ratings for the front, which is 2,800 pounds. The rear is going to be 3,350. And this is the gross fuel weight rating at 6,050 pounds. The wheels are 18 by 8, 265, 60 as I mentioned on the tires. And then this is just a cargo carrying capacity. And then on the sticker too, it does show you the tire pressure for the front and rear tires in the spare if you'd like to know. Thank you so much for watching this video. The last thing I'm gonna show you guys, I already have an off-road too. I'm gonna basically drop it down to basically the entry and exit level and that'll pretty much end the video. And this is going to be the lowest setting for the air suspension. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Be sure to give Larry H. Miller and Sandy a look up if you are interested. And I will see you guys in the next video.